Hi, today we're going to discuss how to conduct feasibility study, module 1. A feasibility report is an often ignored but vital prerequisite to building a successful business from scratch. In fact, not doing feasibility is one of the silly mistakes entrepreneurs make when starting a business. What is the importance of conducting feasibility study before starting a business? Can conducting feasibility study give your business an advantage and help reduce the high rate of business failure? There are eight reasons why you must conduct feasibility study. Number one reason is feasibility study will help you to determine the profitability of the business venture. So before starting a business, seasoned entrepreneurs and investors would want to know if the business would be worth their time, effort, and resources. It is worthwhile to know that many entrepreneurs have abandoned solid business ideas because the profitability could not be ascertained and conducting a feasibility study on the business idea. Number two reason is feasibility study report will help improve to the entrepreneur, venture, capitalist, lender, and investors the existence of the market. So, the liquidity of the business venture and the expected return on investment. Number three reason is feasibility study will help you identify the flaws, business challenges, strength, weaknesses, opportunity strengths, and unforeseen circumstances that might affect the success and sustainability of the business venture. Business failure and loss of money would have been avoided if we had carried out a feasibility study. We simply jump in based on someone's recommendation because we were flush with cash and we paid dearly for it. Number four reason. Before starting a business, feasibility study will enable you to estimate the financial, human, and technological resources that will be needed to ensure the successful launching of the business. Feasibility study helps to reveal the number and level of skill or unskilled workers to be employed in their salary scale. Number five reason is feasibility study will help you to determine the amount of capital required to start the business. It will also help you in establishing the budget plan, working capital and cash flow projection of the business. Number six reason is feasibility study will map out strategies on how to source for the required technique. The next thing to do is once you are able to list the techniques needed to run your business is to sit down and map out strategies on how to source for the required technique. There are other means you can follow to source for people with the technical skills that is required in your business. Actually, you can poach from other competitors and you can as well hire fresh graduates and train them to fill in into your plans. Number seven reason is feasibility study will list the technique that will be needed in and effectively running your type of business. So if you successfully carry out a thorough research and feasibility studies, you will be able to pinpoint the required skills needed to successfully run the kind of business and how to source for the skills. So what is expected uh, here is to list all the techniques that will be needed and then conduct a proper analysis to know the role and capacity needed for the technique that will play in your business. So the truth is that there are key techniques that you cannot ignore from the day one of starting your business and there are some other techniques that can be adapted as you grow the business. Number eight, feasibility study will help to develop a suitable training program. So the essence of conducting technical analysis before starting your business is to ensure that you put in place all the techniques that are required to effectively run your business. So, part of what you need to do is to develop a suitable training program that will help you to equip your staff with the required technique needed to run your business and also to help them to operate effectively. So, the truth is that if you want to run a business that has the capacity to complete globally, then you must ensure that you adapt best practices. So, guys, um, there are different parts of feasibility study and let's start with part one. So, part one uh, will be your introduction. So, what are you going to do? What you want to do with your business? So, you can uh, tell something about uh, the history of your business or the introduction itself. So, 
You can tell anything uh, with the business that you want to start. So part two will be the management analysis and it will be composed of the management of the project, the status of the timetable of the project. And then part three will be economic analysis. It's more on the market study and contribution to the Philippine economy. So part four will be market analysis. So market analysis should have the six piece, which is product, place, price, promotion, process, and people. Part five is technical feasibility. So we have product, manufacturing process, plant size and production schedule, machinery, plant location, plant layout, structure, raw materials, utilities, and waste disposal. Under part 6, we have the financial feasibility. So here, we need to produce the total project cost, the initial capital requirements, the sources of financing, the financial statement, the financial analysis, the overall firm liquidity, the degree of indebtedness, and profitability. Part 7 is sensitivity and part 8 is summary of the project. Part 9 is appendices, uh, forecasting for 3 months, financial analysis, others like pictures, logos, and any other documentation. And you can also put here your resume. And then part 10 will be references which came from books, modules, uh, other past financial uh, feasibility study, and also from website. That's the end of module one, how to conduct feasibility study. So you also need to study the remaining modules two to five before you prepare your own documentation.